Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community-driven trading education. Hello everyone, looking at SPY IWM and QQQ, and boy oh boy was today boring. Today was tiny volume. We had a 33 cent range in SPY. For the first multiple hours of trading, it took two and a half hours to hit the first hour of volume that we saw on Friday. So, very boring, but the bulls remain in control, and I keep looking for a lower high to be set, and it's not being set, and I'm not comfortable trading bullish up here. Day trades, sure, that's fine, either direction, comfortable doing that. But in terms of any swing positions, the fact that we went straight from the dump to a new all-time high without any real consolidation or pause is cause for concern for me. I just don't trust this move, and the volume's not there to back it up. So bulls are completely in control. We've seen higher opens four days in a row. That, too, tells me that the bulls are exhausting themselves to the upside, but either way, all that matters is price action, and the bulls are in full control. So I'm curious. I've been all over the crypto sector recently as all the hype is there and it's the easiest technical analysis trading that i've ever experienced in my life and it's an incredible opportunity and it's not going to last but i'm wondering here if wall street the past three days have just been dead and i'm wondering if wall street is getting in on this cryptocurrency and kind of taking a breather from the market and just things are if you watched today if you watched today on the five minute time frame for the first two and a half three hours of trading it's the kind of day where i would just close my computer and get up and do something else but the bulls continue strong. They had a strong end of the day. They saw a bullish reaction to the Fed minutes. And the weekly time frame keeps the bulls in control with higher lows and higher highs. IWM, not seeing as nearly as much of bullish action. We've got the middle Bollinger Band resistance. That's at 138.07 and dropping. Lower highs and lower lows still in play. Long way to go before that gets broken up at 139.48 if the bulls want to change this trend. Otherwise, we're just looking at another lower high and it will be up to the bulls to form a higher low and then get a higher high looking for continuation. Weekly time frame for IWM still has the higher lows in place. Bulls need some follow through to the upside. Otherwise, we're going to form an inside week on the weekly time frame heading into next week, which would be fine. It would give us some clear levels to watch. And the bulls need to turn that around on the daily. QQQ new all-time highs leading the way to the upside. Very, very similar to SPY. You can see how they're trading hand in hand. They look pretty much the exact same the last two weeks. And closing strong and looking for further upside. Also some fairly low volume there as well. But the weekly time frame, holding exponential support, seeing continuation. Big time bull move for the tech sector. So where we stand, the bulls are in full control. There is no denying that. I just personally would not be comfortable holding overnight. And I would rather sit on my hands and not make trades here in this environment. And like I said, personally, I'm on to other opportunities as you know, tens of thousands of people and hundreds of millions of dollars are doing. And if you want to check out the cryptocurrency space, I've got an intro to crypto video on my YouTube channel and uh, plenty of videos there as well. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see how we wrap up the end of the week with two trading days left to go. We know consolidation's coming soon. We, we can't just go from that dump and shoot up to the upside with six big green days in a row. Maybe we can. I've been looking for a pullback for two, three days at this point, and I have not gotten it. So uh, to be honest, as a technical analyst, in terms of where we currently stand, I'm a bit uncomfortable and I don't like where we stand because it's not a clear path forward. I love nice, clear setups, and that's why I will scout for those nice, clear setups on individual names. But when the market is not giving that to me, it's just an uneasy feeling. So we'll wait for that to break up and get a little bit more clear. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you tomorrow.